wanna buy packs but you got no coins And you wanna pack bail but you hate FIFA points And you wanna beat your brother with a super fly yeah, team But your coin total zero so it's basically a dream You FIFA is the answer to your question Cheap and reliable, the best on the net kid CWE for 8% off Stack them coins and load your squad up BAMS when you'll back at it again with the upgrade crown What's up big boys and welcome to the FIFA 17 VPL upgrade episode yeah! FIFA 17 is a couple months away which means everyone is speculating on FIFA 17 card ratings in a couple months time in about a month's time we're probably going to see EA start releasing some player ratings they usually do top 50 and then release them like 50 through 40 and then a couple days later they'll do 40 through 30 and then you know depending on what player ratings get people are really 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 passionate about those for example when when Ibra lost his 5 star skill moves going into FIFA 15 people freaked out about that uh, Murda Sacker went, you know, from FIFA 12 to 13, I think he had like 65 pace, and they dropped him minus 20 for just some very, very random reason, even though there wasn't a precipitous fall off in play. Uh, precipitous. I don't think you've ever heard me use that word before. That's just the kind of shit we do on the channel, bro. We use fucking big words sometimes. But anyway, boys, we are doing the FIFA 17 BPL upgrade episode, and this is one that I look forward to doing every year. I don't know if a lot of you guys know this, but I actually really, really love looking at stats. Um, there is a website, and I'm not getting paid to say this, it's a website that everyone in the community pretty much uses, it's called Who Scored, and uh, it pretty much gives player ratings for players, and sometimes it's not 100% accurate, but there's a lot of detail that goes into what that particular uh, player rating is, so we're going to use a little bit of that, a little bit of what we've seen from the BPL to go through these player predictions, and uh, yeah, a lot of players to choose from. Only had 11, obviously, we're doing a starting 11 squad, we're gonna start with the keeper, and uh, let me know if I missed anyone, let me know if you agree or disagree, and really this is more of a discussion, if I get one wrong, let me know why you think I'm wrong, or why you think he should be higher or lower, and if there's a player I missed. I tried to show some love to the big and small clubs, uh, so we might see might see a Watford player in there, just a little hint, his name is not Dini, don't get upset, I'm, a lot of Watford players absolutely freaking love Dini and Troy Dini has been amazing but he is not the Watford player that I'm going to include maybe you guys can guess who that's going to be not much of a secret but uh anyway we are going to get into it if you guys do enjoy the episode hit that like button let's try and blast 20 likes as well if you want to interact with me on Instagram and Twitter those links can be found in the description below but uh yeah really have been looking forward to making this video I love speculating on player ratings and what they could possibly be because at the end of the day the stats dictate how these players play on the pitch so uh, for us at least virtually but anyway we're gonna kick on and we're starting off with our first player and that is none other than Jack Butlin didn't go to the Euros for a unfortunate injury I believe he would have started for England over Hart had he not uh, had he not had his injury but he's got a 79 rated card now he started off with a 74 went up to a 79 and I think it would be fair to give him plus two. I think the way Butlin played, even though he had that injury that prevented him playing at the Euros, he was absolutely, absolutely freaking amazing at Stoke. And um, I think he deserves at least a plus two upgrade. I think he goes up to 81. Don't think he deserves to be in that 83 Claudio Bravo range just yet. But uh, yeah, Butland, I think he goes from 79 plus two up to 81. Moving on to the Arsenal youngster, Hector Bellerin. Um, has really, really solid season, 77 rated card, had a 74 to start the year, and then got one of the massive upgrades, and went up to a 95 pace card, 70 passing, and had a goal, uh, sorry, he had an assist the year prior, and then had five assists this year in the BPL. Uh, for Arsenal, so I think his passing could definitely go up to somewhere between 73 and 74. Overall, I think he goes from 77 plus 3 up to 80. I think he definitely deserves, uh, I think he definitely deserves to be up there. Definitely a top 5 RB, definitely a top 5 uh, right back in the Premier League if you're asking my personal opinion. Uh, but like I said, went from 1 assist the year before up to 5, so I think that passing goes up. And the way he played, I think a plus three upgrade is warranted. I think he goes up to 80. Moving on to our first center back. And obviously, this is a position that we could have gone with so many different players. But uh, we're going to go with one of the more unheralded players. We're going to go with Virgil van Dijk. Statistically, a top five defender in the world. I'm not saying that from a personal standpoint. But the stats that he has rank him as a top five defender in the world. He is the seventh best player rated in the BPL overall. Uh, and also, I believe he was third most in the BPL for the amount of man of the matches. I think he had five or six man of the matches, which only trails Payet and Ozil, if I'm not mistaken. Ozil, obviously, don't want to say too much about Ozil right now. We'll get to him a little bit later. But Virgil van Dijk, one of the starlets of the BPL. Uh, very promising talent for the Dutch national side. And I believe he's had three team of the season cards in a row. So, yeah. Still only 24 years old. Has a 77 rating. Realistically, I think EA probably just bump him up two to 79. But I would make a strong argument that you could make the case 
that he should be bumped up plus three to an 80 overall card. Again, just an absolute freaking monster for uh, for Southampton. Really, really deserves an upgrade. Would like to see him get that 80 overall card, but I think people would be happy to see him 79. Just one of those guys that's not in the news a lot, but really just does his job and is an absolute freaking tank at his position. Speaking of tanks, we are moving on to Kurt Zuma, who we had to include. Uh, felt bad for leaving Smalling out, but uh, again, I had to choose a smaller club and then a bigger club, so we're going to go with Chelsea as the bigger club. We've got Zuma. When he did play, he was an absolute monster. Uh, Beast is the only way that I could use to describe him. Played incredible under hitting. And uh, will be interesting to see how he performs under Conte. But an absolute freaking G. Could see that physical going up from 81 up to something like 84 or 85. And I think if we see him get an 81 overall gold card next year, I think he would be deserved. Moving on to our left back, we are going with Christian Fuchs. Uh, the former Schalke man who was a huge part of Leicester's championship season. Very important their attacking play as a left back. Obviously, you can see his card right here. He's one of those left back. Uh, he's one of those left back cards that can do a little bit of everything. Has long shots. Uh, has long shots and shot power for days. Um, but uh, yeah, one of the unsung heroes of the Leicester campaign. Obviously, Vardy and Mares and Kante are gonna steal some of that shine. But Fuchs has been absolutely freaking incredible. He started, I believe, now. I'm a little bit confused because he has a silver that's 74. I think it had something to do with a position change. Uh, his original card is a left wing back. Got a 74 team of the season silver card. And if I'm being honest with you, I'm seeing a plus two upgrade. I'm seeing him go up to 76 overall gold card. Um, but uh, yeah, don't think he gets a massive, massive upgrade. But I think plus two is definitely, definitely deserved. He won the freaking championship with Leicester and uh, was a big part of that. So I think plus two, 76 overall gold for Fuchs would definitely be deserved. Moving on to the midfield and we had three players to choose from. This was one of the more difficult ones to do. Um, I went ahead with Payet as the uh, as one of the three midfielders over Ezil. It was between those two, and I really just felt like including Payet in the squad was the more appropriate, given that Ozil started really hot, was an amazing, amazing midfielder for most of the season, but after the winter break, fizzled out a little bit, so I decided to go with Payet, uh, Payet. and if you're asking my opinion on Ozil, I think he should probably remain 88 overall. Um, he did get his, 80, uh, his upgrade to 89, but I'm thinking probably should maintain 88. I think that's the one he deserves, but uh, absolute assist king. If he can be a little bit more consistent this year, I think he definitely deserves an upgrade, but Payet has been incredible. Incredible for West Ham, incredible for France in the Euros. I didn't know how crazy he actually was at Marseille. He had two less goals, but four more assists with Marseille the, pre uh, the previous season before joining West Ham. And uh, yeah, was ranked the is rated the second best player in the BPL. So I don't see how you uh, can't give him an upgrade. 82 overall card. I believe he had an 81 to start the year. I think he's got to be at least 85. I just don't know how he can't. If you're going to do an upgrade, I know he's getting up there in age. I think he's 28 turning 29 this year, but I just don't know how you don't make him an 85. Like, Payet needs to be an 85 overall card. Plus three, 85 overall. Nine goals and 12 assists. What else do you need to know? Moving on to our next midfielder, and it's only right that we have a couple Leicester players in here. I'm not going to say whether or not this is the second or the uh, the last of the Leicester players, but N'Golo Kante, if I read the transfer rumor or the transfer news correctly, he has gone to Chelsea. You can make a case that he was just as valuable as Vardy or Marez. Started the year with a 75 overall card, moved up to a 77, and like I said, such a massive part of uh, the success that Leicester had, and was ranked the sixth best player in the BPL, and just given what he did with the championship with Leicester, uh, his ranking um, across the board statistically, I just don't see how you give him at least a plus four upgrade. I see him going up to an 81 overall gold card um, at the very minimum. I think you could make the case that he should be an 82 or an 83 overall card. Ki Sung Young had to show some South Korean love. Now this guy is probably my favorite player that I've included in this upgrade video. Not a lot of players, uh, not a lot of people would throw them into the upgrade video, but uh, I decided given that he really is one of the better midfielders in the Premier League. The guy has the highest pass success of any player in the Premier League. I think it's 90%. There's not there's not another player in the Premier League. I think Ozil and uh, Ozil, I think, is the only player that comes close. I think he has like 89.5. And then Ki Sung Young has 90% pass success. That's Tony Cruz type level. And uh, yeah, definitely, definitely an unsung hero for Swansea. Deserves an upgrade. I want to say that I think he should be an 80 based on how he played. Didn't see a lot of uh, Swansea matches this year, but uh, based on how he played, I think he deserves at least a plus two. I think he should be a 79 overall card. Honestly, you can make an argument for 80, but I think EA the way they are, given that he doesn't have any informs, he didn't get a team of the season or anything like that. If I'm being honest with you, I think they'll probably maybe just bump him up plus one to 78, but uh, 79 or 80 at least is what he's deserved. He's just one of those guys that's great on the ball, does his job, but just does not get the recognition that he deserves. 
Would love to see him have an 80, but like I said, 79 probably more likely. Moving on to our next Leicester player, and it is none other than Riyad Mahrez. Highest rated player in the PPL. According to who scored and a lot of statistical sites, highest rated player. And you can't argue. The stats don't lie. 17 goals, 11 assists. Started the year, I believe, with a 73 overall card. Upgraded to 76. And uh, I think, you know, if there's a five-star upgrade, more, if there's a player more deserving of five-star upgrades, I don't know who it is. I think he should be an 81. It just feels, it would feel weird to have a Marez card and him not be, like, actually higher than what this hero card is right here. But I think we could probably see him get an upgrade, plus 5, 81 overall card, uh, over 76. So we will see if they actually do that. But another thing that people want is 5-star skill moves for Marez. He is a skiller, and a lot of people have been calling for that. So we will see if maybe they upgrade him. A couple other players that deserve the 5-star uh, the, uh, the skill designation. Again, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think these players' card ratings should be. Moving on to our next attacker, and it is the Chelsea Young. Youngster Kennedy. Um, I mean, I think he started the year as a 62 overall bronze, upgraded to 72. Uh, he was subbed on more often than he started. I think he made three appearances and then was subbed on 10 times, but was, again, one of these electric youngsters that immediately once he comes on the pitch, he, he creates a spark. Played forward, uh, plays a little bit of uh, left back as well, so I think that defending rating 22 should definitely bump up to, I mean, he's played left back as well. I think he's capable, so I think it should go up to at least maybe like a 35 or maybe even higher than that, given that he does play the position. First goal of the season was the fastest goal scored in the Premier League. I believe it was a 2-1 victory versus Norwich, uh, scored in the 30, uh, 39th second of the match, and obviously that was when he started. But uh, yeah, I believe that was the fastest goal in the Premier League this season. Looks like a really good card. Uh, a lot of people are predicting a plus 5 or plus 6 upgrade, and I would not disagree. I'm going to say that I think he probably deserves a 76, just realistically, given that he's still pretty young um, and didn't do a whole lot. Did Was very important for Chelsea last year, but uh, I think probably a 76 overall gold card is what he's deserving. Also, one of those players that deserves 4-star skill moves would be surprised to see EA not hand him that in FIFA 17. Last but not least, we are showing some Watford love. They were in the championship the season prior. Uh, he had 20 goals. For, uh, for Watford in the championship, and then they got upgraded to the Premier League, and he didn't, stip he didn't skip a beat. He scored 15 goals in the Premier League last season. Uh, partnership of dreams with uh, Troy Deeney, Igalo and Troy Deeney. And uh, yeah, absolute freaking class player. Got an 83 overall team of the season card, and would honestly be surprised if he didn't get an upgrade. Started the year with a 72 overall card, got upgraded plus four to 76, and I think given his season, given the 15 goals, uh, given the way he played, 13th, uh, uh, finished 13th in the Premier League, um, after being uh, promoted to the Premier League, which is just an incredible, incredible achievement. Didn't miss a beat. And uh, yeah, I think he deserves a plus two going from 76 to 78 overall. And with him, that is the last player we're doing. Tried to do a little bit of the big club, small club love, showing some love to everyone. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you disagree, if you agree, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know if I left anyone out. Obviously, there's some omissions. Vardy, I just didn't want to load up the, uh, the prediction video with Leicester players. I think three Leicester players is fair given that they won the championship and then just try to be equitable. But this is the squad in case you guys were wondering. Uh, has full chemistry. Because they're all because the, they're all in the Premier League. That's a shit joke. I'm not kidding when I say this, but if this guy does not get at least a 78, I'm, I'm, I think he deserves a 79, but if he doesn't get at least a plus one upgrade, there's something wrong with FIFA. There's something wrong with the people that look at stats and the way that they upgrade players. But anyway, boys, that is the FIFA 17 BPO upgrade prediction video. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys enjoyed and let me know if you guys want me to do another league, maybe Bundesliga. That's one I'm a little bit more familiar with than the BPL. That's the one I follow the most. But uh, yeah, let me know if you guys did enjoy. If you did, hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. I will see you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, tschüss, later, ade. Damn, when you're back again. Ba -ba -ba